I'll never forget and forever regret when I was a tot and a teen. I was a cinema dope, for films had cinema scope. I looked at the stars as if between bars for some wee glimpse of me on the screen. Clark Gable was burly, Betty Grable was girly, and I fell somewhere in between. To tell you the truth, even in my late youth, I was never quite anyone seen. I was that clever, slight kid you meant to, but never quite did. So all of my dates were with cinema greats and some pez on the first mezzanine. Peter Lawford was gentle, Joan Crawford was mental, and I fell somewhere in between. Just once a great star, Miss Deborah Carr, told a shy, timid guy that one doesn't have to conform to society's norm. But after tea and sympathy, she reassured him that he wasn't. Like a vampire, my face was reflected no place. Not a trace of me was to be seen. All of life was up there, and I was nowhere. No light cast on what I might mean. Then later and later the revival theater reviewed my whole life evergreen. Nelson Eddy was sterile. Dea Betty was feral. Judy Garland was sweet. Marlon was meat. Charles Bronson revenged. Gloria Swanson unhinged. And in hell somewhere in between. I fell somewhere in between. Then the sixties they came, and someone said my name, loud, proud, and stereophonic. Dear Dirk Bogard took it all rather hard, but his look said he took it. Good God, what a tonic! Then came John Voigt, who didn't enjoy it, and Don Murray wasn't too keen. Then, quite a lot of gay villainy, it's a wonder I didn't kill any. Then prick up your ears, dramatized all my fears with the blood of the stud on the queen. But romantic Maurice hugged his punk in release, and I felt somewhere in between. Now I'll limit my thanks to a plea for Tom Hanks to open his legs long and lean, and I'll fall somewhere in between. Any time, Tom, I'll fall somewhere in between.